Captain is back today. Today is a next weather alert day. I see that round of storms behind you there on the radar. Uh, there's a lot of lightning there. Pretty yeah, concerning. Absolutely. And it's not here yet, but we are expecting this line to move into our area within about the next uh, two and a half hours or so. It's been creating quite a bit of lightning, heavy rain. We've even had some severe warn. You can see that yellow polygon there along with some tornado warn storms up through portions of Lee Glades County closer to Lake Okeechobee. This is all ahead of a strong front that's been producing this uh, stronger line of some thunderstorms that continues to track off to the southeast, northwest to southeast at around 25 miles per hour. So if we put a bit of a timer on this, uh, it should be entering into at least our far interior zones, western zones of South Florida within about the next two and a half hours. So we're anticipating this around mid morning to start to move into our area. And with that, the potential of seeing some strong, severe storms. Most of us quiet at the moment. We're currently tracking some very fast moving areas of rain out through Homestead, Cutler Bay, Kendall. No lightning, thankfully, with that. That is just regular old rain for right now. Tornado watches have been issued for all of South Florida. That includes Monroe, Broward, and also Miami-Dade County. That's through 2 p.m. this afternoon for the potential of seeing a brief tornado. It means the ingredients are there uh, that we could be looking at a quick spin up as we've got some very strong winds in the upper levels of the atmosphere. That's what can tend to pull up the air. And with the curvature of the earth, that's where we get that rotation, which is what we're going to be tracking with this front moving in. I think the highest threat that we will have today is the potential of seeing some damaging winds, followed by then some small to marginally uh, large hail. Flooding going to be a little bit of a lower risk because this is going to be a pretty quick moving line. Uh, we're likely not going to see any stationary thunderstorms sit over any particular area, but of course we already have some saturated soils and with some very heavy rain anticipated, uh, we certainly could see some localized flooding and there is that low end, not zero threat for a tornado for the day today. Now on top of the th fact that we will have these thunderstorms moving through, what we're also going to feel are those winds picking up. We're already feeling those a little bit gusty this morning. Wind advisories also in effect for all of South Florida for the potential seeing gusts of up to 40 miles per hour and that will continue into the early evening hours. So timing all this out, many of us quiet at the moment. Here comes that line of rain and thunderstorms 8 a.m. Notice we're still quiet, but as we head towards about the 9 10 o'clock hour, we start to see this inch first into our interior zones, western portions of South Florida, and then it'll start to work its way towards the coast. So 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Noon is likely when we're going to be most active, featuring uh, some of the worst of the weather for the day today. This is lunchtime. It quickly clears out, though. We should be set and done with this event by 2 3 o'clock and behind this, we're actually going to start to feel some dry air settle in. That's going to help stabilize the atmosphere and we're looking much quieter for this evening. So we're talking about 10 a.m. through 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. That's the time frame we're going to be monitoring. After that, we actually get a nice reward, some drier air settling in, lower humidity, and that's also going to translate to some uh, dry conditions, at least to start the work week. Certainly we need the quieter weather uh, here locally. So 7 8 forecast after today, dry Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and warm but less humid. That'll lead to some cooler nights back in the 60s. All right, thank you.